Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Isha. Hi, um, I am brave. I am courageous. I am strong. Everybody in the room they know will probably say I'm very silly at times. Um, but overall, I'm proud of the young leader that I've become. Um, you see, this is what you have to do. Um, if, if I had told all of these things to my 10 year old self, she would probably laugh because she did not believe any of these things. As you can hear from my very strong colored accent, um, I'm not from here. I um, am from the Western Cape, born in Cape Town. We lived there until I was about four or five years old. And then we started moving. So um, we moved to Oxford and I started Catholic school, we moved to George, and then to a small town called Great uh, Red River, just in between, or as they say in Africans, um, before I moved to Swan in 2005. So you guys know in movies when the scene has this little girl or this young girl that moves to the big city to start a whole new life and better herself. That was me. I'm that girl, okay, I'm in a movie. I felt like I was in a movie when I got over of that Translux class that first day. So, um, coming from a town where everybody around me spoke Afrikaans, we were taught in school in Afrikaans. Gosh, even our pets only understood Afrikaans. <laughs> you know, and then I come to a city like East London, I um, look at um, him and then I say, I'm in here and it's like Molo Sisi and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> you know, I had a total complete culture shock. Like, I, I didn't know what was going on. So adjusting to all of this English and Kosai and diversity, it, it wasn't. Okay, fast forward, I finished in 2010. English obviously being my least favorite subject. Um, my average English mark was good enough um, to score me a job there at DMC. Thank you, Mr. Cook. As a whole set of consultant. Um, guys, I stand in front of you now 11 years later. And when I sent an email this morning, the uh, signature read Kind of Guards, Michelle Beso, Speech Analytics Specialist. I know that's a long English word. For some of you didn't know English a few years ago. <laughs> Um, at the beginning of this course, or at the beginning of the year, when I started the program, I honestly didn't know what to expect. After the first day of introductions, I was genuinely, genuinely overwhelmed with all of these people, with all of their opinions, and their vast knowledge, and people not knowing to <coughs> speaking, and I just, I felt completely out of place. I felt like I'm in a sign all over again. <laughs> but seven months later, I stand here now and I can look at the same people with their opinions and vast knowledge. And I am so, so, so thankful for them um, allowing me to have my own opinion and feeding me with vast knowledge. After every session, I, I felt so very empowered. So I was thinking of a way to summarize um, what this journey has meant to me. As you see there, um, Michelle Besson, I don't know who that is, but Michelle Besson um, <laughs> went to the session with uh, my lovely little mental care on Women's Day at Martin Cups. Um, the theme was Rewrite Your Story. And I um, was looking at it that my fellow um, candidates, the guest speakers, Carrie, um, Greg, did you guys hear my English teacher? Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, my mentors, all of the people that have walked this journey with me, they have truly filled my pen with so, so much ink in order for me to continue to rewrite my story. Thank you.